Hello gamers, how you doing? Welcome back. How's it going? We're all having a good old Friday night. <laughs> oh my god, the fucking TTS again. No, it's not working again. I'm sorry, let me let me fix that. <laughs> let me fix that. You're free at last. You're free at last. That is so good to hear, though. Hope the hope the theatrical season has been good to you. Just let me let me fix this again, because it always fails for some reason. Always fails. <laughs> Coco, there everyone. it is. I'm free at last. The theatrical season is over. I finally Yay. have time. <laughs> I'm glad you disappoint me, Tiny Chat. She just decides not to do her job sometimes. She just, she just says like, I'm not gonna read out the messages. Fuck you. She just, she, she's just like that. She's a rebel like that, you know? <laughs> also, Ratters, hello. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Let me just get the game going. And then we'll switch scenes in a, in a moment. There we go. Yay! Hopefully we can finish this game tonight, because this is a, this is the fourth stream that we do on Cream 64, and we haven't even. <laughs> we're, I don't even know if we're close to beating it. I think we're missing ten uh, red stars, or ten stars, you know, like in order to actually finish the game. Although I'm gonna change costume again real quick. Where is? There it is. There it be. The best one. The shiny chow is charged. <laughs> Sedition and sentence to the Phantom Zone. Oh no, no! Do not send the child to the Phantom Zone. Oh, this game looks very cute. It is. It is super cute. It's a it's a ROM hack of Mario sixty four, with with the Sonic characters in it, which just makes it immediately a hundred times better than the original Super Mario. My little girl is going on an adventure. Oh, you're probably gonna really like this costume. Look at this. <laughs> you're probably gonna love that one then. It's a it's a little it's a little vanilla. It's tiny vanilla with chocola. It's very cute. <laughs> it's very adorable. But you know, you know I gotta rep my wife. I gotta represent. So we're going with the Amy. We're going with the Amy costume. Oh my god, what was that? What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Fucking seizure right there. We kind of ended up on last stream where we were finally able to open this door. Ooh. New character. Who this? Lingold, hello. Cream, you're finally here. I was worried something had happened to you. I'm glad you and Cheese are doing all right. Didn't see you. I didn't see your mama here, but I saw this strange door up the stairs. She may be in there, but I think you need a lot of star rings. Mr. Mark? Oh, you mean Papa. I think he said he was on the roof. I'm not sure why, but maybe he thought she would be up there. Well, I did hear some things from the nice toads. The minute hand on the big clock changes the speed. What? It rounds to the nearest quarter hour. What the fuck? What clock are we talking about? 12 stops. 12 stops it completely. 3 moves slowly. 6 makes everything go crazy. And 9 goes quickly. Take your time. Good luck, Kareem. I know you can save hers. Here, I found this star ring up here. I know you'll find a good use for it. Free star ring. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> It's always so cute. Mr. Mark A. <laughs> Another red star ring. Green gains more courage from the power of the castle. Do you want to save? Yes. Oh my god. It's, it's, it's here. To open the door that leads to the endless stairs. You need 70 star rings. Oh shit. What happened? How did I... How was I able to open this door? I don't have 70 star rings. How the fuck was I able to even open the door? What was that? What was that all about? 
And what is this place? Do I drop down there? Should I drop down there? Holy crap, Blow, is it Star Wars week in Fortnite? Oh my god. Alright, let's see what's up what's in here. Oh, Tails! Hello, Tails. He do be happy. Try the stairs, you'll figure out why you could enter. Why can I not speak with him? Tails, stop being a bitch. Talk with me. Ah, oh, there it is. Finally, Jesus. Hey, Grim, I'm still reeling back from that race we had. What fucking race? I'd never raised Tails. What are you talking about? I've come to make an announcement. Eggman is a bitch ass motherfucker. He kidnapped my <laughs> fucking wife. Again. Again. He did it again. He can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> fucking Tails be tripping. I've never had a race with him. What the fuck is he talking about? The past day has been uh, really far, really fun though. I do feel a bit bad for taking time away from your huge adventure, but I bet you're at, right at the very end, aren't you? I'll be rooting for you while you take care of Eggman. I still don't know why Sonic didn't show up after I called him, but I, but I know he would have slowed you down anyways. Hmm. Very likely. Sonic cannot keep up with the amazing speed of Cream the Rabbit. You're happy that uh, that he's happy even if he's being a bit sappy. But the smiles of your friends is just as important as saving your mom. You, you give him a big ol' hug, a little chew on the cheek, and that'll put him in a good mood. You save your goodbyes and head at once more. Time to go and save Mama. And honestly, when this whole ordeal is completely done, taking his offer to go see Chow, <laughs> Chow in space doesn't sound like a bad idea right now. Chow in space, let's fucking go. Oh, it's a little foxy girl again with the cannons. Yes, please set up the cannons. Alright. Is this actually a level for Mario 64 or is this another one of- Oh my god, is that Vector? Or is this another one of the levels that was heavily edited? Because it's kind of, this kind of does look out of place for a Mario level. I don't know. My god, it's Vector. Vector the alligator. I'm still mad. I'm still mad that he's not an alligator because Vector rhymes with alligator. So I don't know why the fuck it's Vector the Crocodile. <laughs> I'm still mad about that. This is different. Okay, so this is a different level. Hey, hey, I didn't think I didn't see you around here. Would you believe I'm a trainer at this joint? I get free snacks at the snack bar, and therefore you ask Espio. And before you ask, Espio stole me everything. Charmy and he are already searching for your mom. I haven't heard back from them in a while, though. Me, my job here is just to keep an eye on anything going on at this hole. There There's... comes a time in every dad's life when he has to sit a boy down and warn <laughs> him under no uncertain terms that he's as good as dead if he ever hurts his daughter. Tails is no exception. <laughs> There's this other guy on the third island, but he seems fine. Motorbugs aside, that is. If you're gonna explore, you talk to that purple fox gal over there to ride the cannons, and don't forget your wing locket. It's a long way down, you hear? But don't worry, the, de the death warps are said that you just land back in the castle rather than outside, like before, whatever that means. <laughs> Fucking breaking the fourth wall? Just like that? Oh my god, I had not seen this. I had not realized that there was a fucking... <laughs> a fucking Goomba emoji. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I cannot stomp on him. Oh, he's a character. Oh gosh, I was supposed to go follow that new guy up there, but he didn't... But he got there when I went to the bathroom and I don't know what to do. Her mode bug's super dangerous. I've never ran into one myself. Don't see much of them in the Mushroom Kingdom, but I'm just a lonely Flumba. Oh gosh, a Flumba. Oh my god. Unalive it. I'm trying. <laughs> Hole number seven. Oh, this is like a mini golf course, of course, or whatever. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so let's grab the wink cap.
and let's drop down on the cannon. Oh, I was so close to grabbing the green one. Grabbing all of these fucking green rings is gonna take a while again because they're in midair. And you remember how much I struggled to get the other one. <laughs> Okay, maybe this is not gonna be as bad. Good. Uh -uh. Oh man, that is pretty tall. Can't reach that then. All right, I see. How, I see how it's gonna be. Let me just. Refill on this. Let's go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just let me grab the green things. No. My God, this controls worse than a fucking Elytra, I swear. Oh god. Please, please. Oh my god! <laughs> I hate this <laughs> so much. Fuck. Just like we practiced, Queen. Go with the wind, not against it. <laughs> Come on, we gotta be able to get it. Oh my god, that was so close. Fuck! I think we're really gonna have an easier time trying to just like aim for it. That was like really fucking close right there. Oh my god. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop! Oh my god. Just got fucking yeeted out of there. Oh, fine. Screw that level then. There's just two levels. I need to get like... 10 fucking rings on these two levels. Oh, also, I remember people... People told me to check the stairs. So let's go do that. So what's the deal with the stairs? I mean, aside from giving me a fucking seizure with those, like, passing textures. Oh, I get it now. It's like, it's an infinite stair. I see. Hmm. How the fuck... I've seen people do some fucking weird shit on these stairs, and I don't know if that's possible in this. I don't even know. I'm not even gonna pretend that I know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Alright, let's try to get those fucking green rings. Who <laughs> just hurt my daughter? <laughs> I'm sorry! The fucking flight controls for the, the flying locket are fucking terrible. It's not, not my fault. What is that stomp sound called? I don't know what it's called. I just know that it's like the edit and Eddie sound. The sound clip. Oh my god, I hate these fucking flight controls. Oh my god, there we go. Two. Two out of eight. Let's go. Hmm. Hopefully we can aim for the second one this time. Oh, that was so close!
There we go. Wow. Amazing. Alright, so we got four out of eight. Nice. I was aiming a bit down low over there. Is that fucking Metal Oh no, wait, never mind. I thought it was Metal Sonic. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Man, I should have waited for that yellow Goomba. Lost my ball. Don't have extras and no idea how to get down. Those logins don't work for me. <laughs> Even worse, these motobugs just showed up. I could try and take them, but I wonder if they'll charge me for, charge me for destroying company equipment. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, just, just do it. Just kill them. Just kill them, fuck it. And if they charge you for it, just don't pay. Fucking easy. Oh, this is like... You cannot jump on that sand. Okay. Ah, now I forget that I can t can't do my triple jump without going into flight mode. A package from Sweden arrived. Nice. What did you get? Hawkeye encourages tax evasion. Lamau. Imagine paying taxes. Fucking cringe. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Only. I am. I am very based, and not cringe. And because paying taxes is very cringe, I just don't pay them. Easy. What are they gonna do? Charge me? Yeah. What are they gonna do? Send you a fine for not paying your taxes? I'll, I just won't pay that either. Lol. Alright, 6 out of 8. Not bad. Where are the other two though? Because I don't see them over there. Oh wait, never mind. There is one over there. I got more jewelry, a replacement chain for one necklace that the chain broke and a copy of the book called Moose for Modern Times. Oh, nice. Sonic can't outrun the IRS and neither can Coco. Well, they haven't caught me yet, so jokes on them, Lomel. Although technically it's not even the IRS because I'm not American, but you know, whatever. <laughs> now I can wear five rings, seven necklaces, and three bracelets. Oh my god. <laughs> You're going all out. Where is the last fucking thing? Uh, it's probably hidden down there, right? So, let's go into the waterfall. And now I am going to destroy every single bad nook for hurting my daughter. No! See you all no! Later. Not again! Oh my fucking god. What was that? Oh god, I have to do that whole thing again! No! Fucking Christ! What the fuck? No! Oh, fucking Christ. God fucking damn it, for real. Oh, that sucks so bad. Oh no, we're gonna be struggling with these fuckers again. Oh my god. I don't know why it, it went up. I don't know why the the fucking wings went up instead of just like continuing down. Fuck. God, I hate I hate these fucking like wing challenges, whatever. Hate them. Hate the fucking wings. The wings are the fucking worst.
Oh my god, I need like a long distance to make the fucking three jumps. Jesus fuck. Alright, there we go. Ouch. Give me rings. The Rothschilds interfered with Coco's dream because she didn't pay her taxes. <laughs> like, see, why is it? Why is it doing that? Why is it going up on its fucking own? I didn't press anything. Ah, oh, fuck! Again. What the fuck is this shit? Oh my god. God, I, I really fucking hate the flight controls on this. So bad. <laughs> Fucking goddamn green rings in the middle of space. Where there's no fucking death perception at all. Also, I have- I still have no clue what the rot- the rot schlids are? What the fuck does that mean? Also, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking fall again. Oh my god, I fucking hate this! I have zero lives! I don't know what happens when you get zero lives. What happens when you get a game over in this game? Do you go to your last save, I guess? My fucking god, this is so goddamn annoying. <sighs> Why? I can never fucking get them! Stop! I wanna land! This, this is making me so fucking angry. <laughs> It's just, we're just like 20 minutes into the stream and I'm already getting so fucking mad. <laughs> it's a rich family that runs a lot of corporations around the world. Oh. Wow, it really does sound like that. Like, they, have, they really do have that fucking, like, <laughs> fucking evil last name, Jesus Christ. Come on, let's go. Alright, let's just fly over here. Why is it doing that? Why is it going up on its fucking own? Jesus Christ. And the fucking green ring is not even here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Good. Alright. You killed big? I, you, I always kill big, that's... Not a surprise at this point. Not a huge fan of Big the Cat, not gonna lie. We're so close, Wait, we're so what close. What happened? I was busy unpacking my new jewelry. Uh, I died several times. Trying to get the, the stupid green rings. <laughs> so 
So I'm still stuck in this level, really. Nothing, nothing much else. Aside from that. We're almost done. There's only that one floating one. And then there's the the one that's just like laying there. Should I try and go for like the 100 rings? The 100 rings ring before grabbing the the last green ring. Maybe that would be useful actually. So that I can get two rings in like one go. There it is. There is the there is the green ring ring. Oh my god, I hate this line control so much. You don't oh need god. it to beat the game. Do you want to risk having to redo this level if you die getting the 100 rings? Oh my god, I... You don't need it to beat the game? I mean, I don't need it to beat the game. I need 70. I need 70 retro rings. What do you mean I don't need it to beat the game? Like, I'm trying to get as many red star rings as I can. And having to do, like, both two runs of this level instead of just the one. But I do see your point. We are risking dying and having to do it all over again. Eighty-five rings. Oh my god. Why do they love putting fucking rings in the middle of the air? Why do they do that? Why do they like making my life fucking miserable by doing this? We're so close. We're missing like 13 rings. Fucking hell. Just... Oh my god! Turn! Fucking hell! Can we get some rings? I guess we could get those over there. Is this really a level with like... Oh my fucking god. No puede puta ser, carajo. Me cago en la chingada, güey. Dios. Oh, fucking god. The power-up ran out midair. The fucking power-up ran out midair. I am so fucking over this. I fucking hate this shit. I am so fucking mad. God fucking damn it. Now I have to do it again. I have to do the whole fucking thing again. You know, Coco's angry when she busts out the Spanish. <laughs> I mean, true, for real, though. It is true. You can't tell that Perhaps I'm actually just fucking mad. Level, you do still need to unlock the metal power up. Perhaps just skip that level, you still need to unlock the metal power up? What? What metal power up, and how do I get out of here? Oh my god, why, do this, why doesn't it fucking bring me out to the... Fucking hell. <laughs> Peppermint, how you doing? <clears throat> what what metal power up? How do I get it? Where is it? Look up and behind you in the first room of the castle. Up and behind me?
Oh, there's, there's another. That warps you to a small level. No, we've already done this. We've already gone through this fucking level. Which is another custom level, apparently. It was the ring in front of the window. The ring in front of the window? What? What do you mean, the ring in front of the window? Oh my fucking god, why is everything so stupidly... Why is everything so fucking stupidly hidden in this game? God fucking damn it. Fucking shit ass game for real. <laughs> I'm getting so mad at it. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country 2 music? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not sure. There is an NPC in the karaoke bar bathroom that tells you about this level. I don't think I ever got that dialogue. I was told by an NPC in the bar that the, the fucking portal back home was in the bedroom and that was all there was in the bedroom. Plus, like, the, the whole the whole bar level was also hidden, so, like, <laughs> you know, like, in order to know about the hidden thing, you know, do you need to know about another there hidden thing. There was a thing. slightly open stool with an NPC hidden inside. Oh my fucking god, I hate that. Ah, oh, there's the button, okay. The metal locket switch. Wow! The metal lockets will pop out of the green capsules you find. Yes, I would like to save. Thank you. Hello, Espio. I can't help but wonder why Espio is all the way out here. Maybe he's also looking for your mom. But he looks... Like he's in a deep meditative, medi, meditative, the fucking whatever state. <laughs> Let's not to disturb him. Wait, he's snoring. Oh my god, he's asleep. How cute. He do be very cute. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I see. So the metal. The metal power-up lets you get sunk on water? That's cool. Oh, it doesn't last very long. Oh my god, I can't get out of here! I'm stuck! Help! Fucking Christ! What the Espio fuck do I do? Some random Japanese words that he found on Google, but he doesn't actually know what they mean. I am I am stuck. There's literally I can, literally cannot get out of here. Fucking hell, amazing. Oh my fucking god, I hate this. We're gonna have to die and get back. You found the soft lock. Amazing. Another one. Another fucking soft lock. Fucking great. I swear I found another one last stream. Someone mentioned another fucking soft lock last stream. It's fucking shit ass game for real. The parts that, the parts that I really don't like this game uh, about this game are the parts that are like native to Mario 64. Someone get the devs Coco found the bad geometry. <laughs> God, for real. No! <laughs> for cream! I don't like that. That sucks. Okay, at the very least now we have the the thing already. 
So I gotta be careful because apparently this thing doesn't last very much. Rose gold, how precious. It is very precious. Cream is very precious. Very adorable. All the power-ups never last forever. I know, but like, the, the cap lasts way longer. The flying cap lasts way longer. So I was surprised by, by how little time this lasts. Especially given this, that if you fall down here, then you get fucking soft locked. Like, especially considering that, it's surprising how little it lasts. There's a, there, there's a fucking ring I was looking for. I swear the reason why I'm tolerating this game as much as I am is just because it's like Kareem and Sonic characters and that's it. Like I, I wouldn't be tolerating this game if it was Mario characters. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to get that while being Mario, but, you know, we're just gonna get it like that, cuz... We ball. Super Mario 64 that works that way. I know! I get it! I understand that! <laughs> That's what's surprising! It's a cream level, it's custom. This level is custom? Oh, I thought you were talking about the last level, that the last level was custom. Yeah, that, that was like already stated. This one is also custom made. Holy fucking shit. I can never tell, I can never tell which ones are custom made and which ones aren't. Where's the other fucking green rings? No, not there. My god. Don't go through the waterfall, it will kick you out to the level. Oh, okay, thank you. Not here, not there, not fucking anywhere. That waterfall over there? Or the, or, or the waterfall behind me? I guess you can't go through that one. So I'm gonna assume you're talking about that one over there. I tried to go through the waterfall. I just got told that I shouldn't go through the waterfall. <laughs> I don't know where else to go on this level. Like, how the fuck do I keep on going upstairs? I never found all the rings in this level, but I suspect they are above up above. I mean, I guess, but how the fuck do you get there? I didn't have the time to climb up everything. Oh my god, how do I do a triple jump in this fucking space? Oh, no, can't reach, can't reach that. Thought that was maybe the play, but no. You're a cream that can fly. I know! Why are you getting mad at me? I'm trying! I'm trying my fucking best! Stop getting mad again! Stop getting mad at me! Fuck! Oh my 
fucking god, I swear I pressed fucking jump, but okay, cool. I guess I only half pressed it, Lomel. Please, just fucking let me go. Like, I swear there has to be something more to this level, right? Like, did I miss something in this, this place over here, maybe? Is that a way up? Am I supposed to, like, do a fucking wall jump or something? Can't reach that? No. Okay. So I guess not. It's not enough to get up there. There's something floating above Espia? Yeah, that's just like a bat or something. The thing that I that I just killed. And this one only has rings. So nothing really. I mean maybe this fucking thing has something in it. Was that an extra life? It was great. I do need that. Yes, but I can't just fly up. You can only fly horizontally, so you need to build up enough, like, height by jumping. Communicate with the chow? Those those white chows only give credits for the music or whatever it's going on at the, in the stage. Like, look, look. Music used Donkey Kong. Oh, it is Donkey Kong music. Huh. Okay, cool. Well. Well, there you go. We now have confirmation that it is Donkey Kong music. Can I step on those lamps? Oh and found a single red ring in this fucking stage. Oh my god, wait. Is there a pathway through here? No, never mind. I thought there was. Oh, there was something that I was missing. There must be something that I need to do with this fucking power up right here. There's gotta be something down here that I'm fucking missing. I'm starting to think we actually do need to go through the waterfall or something. Okay, no, never mind, you were right, it just boots me off the fucking stage. Alright, let's just, let's just fucking go. It should only be the one for the green rings and maybe 100 rings. The main point of this level is just unlocking the metal power up. I mean, yeah, but I was looking for the green rings and, like, I have no fucking clue how to get higher up. So, we're just gonna ignore that, we're just gonna go back to the fucking level that we were in because it's been like an hour and we haven't been able to get a single fucking red ring so we're just gonna go back to where we were here and try to get the fucking rings again the clock is also a level
Oh uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get the rib the green rings in here and that's it. I'm not gonna bother trying to get the the 100 rings again. Because they seem to be exactly 100 rings in this fucking stage. Oh, that was lucky. Let's try and just get this fairly quick. I'm not even gonna... Oh my fucking god. Now that I'm not trying, I was even gonna say, I'm not even gonna bother trying, I'm just gonna, like, fucking aim higher up. And it just worked. Now that I'm not even trying, it just fucking works. Amazing. Gotta love that. Well, that was close. Couldn't... Can't ask for everything, I guess. And now I'm scared that I'm gonna run out of the fucking power up midair. Should have refill. Okay, yeah, never mind. I'm gonna refill and I'm gonna try again. <laughs> right. Just turn around, try to grab that. Perfect. Now we have to go down. Oh my god, that was fucking scary again. There we go. Please, just fucking... Oh my god. There we go. And now we just... We're just gonna go grab the fucking bread ring. I don't even know why I'm collecting these rings over here. Imagine this being the only power up in the game because Cream is an angel. <laughs> God, I hate this fucking flying power up for real. This is the worst fucking thing. It controls like fucking ass. Anyways. Finally got that shit. Let's go. That's what I expected. Yeah, sure. Fucking wall jump never goddamn works. Oh my god, let me have some, let me have a drink. Cruiser mm. crossing the rainbow, what is this? Oh my god, I love this song. I think it's from Sonic Runners or Sonic Rivals. The clock is a painting, Coco. It is from Sonic Runners. Yes, I know. You you guys have said it multiple times. I know. I know. What is this? Oh, I do have to stay on it. Okay, never mind. Ooh. That's cute. Why is the why is the carpet disappearing? What the fuck? Is it just meant to disappear? Like that? Da, da, 
Oh no! I was getting, I was getting too into the music. Use these pawns if you stay off it too long. These pawns if you stay off it too long. Okay, so you kind of need to stay on it. Cool. Good to know. Thank you. Let's just go get this. You just fucking cheese the game, Lomao. Hello, Dax. How you doing? Welcome to the chat. That's what I expected. All right, let's go back. How are you doing all right? Doing barely all right, thank you. Hmm. Now we could just climb up here to get back to where we were. And grab those... Grab those rings over there. Lomel. Use flight to cheese as much of that level as possible. Nobody that has played this level would blame you. This <laughs> level is painful normally. <laughs> Actually, for real? Wow. <laughs> if nobody's gonna blame me for it, then yeah, I'll just go ahead and fucking cheese this shit. Oh my god, it's Blaze again! We're missing one, where is it? Hmm? Wait, what? Can you do multiple wall jumps in a row? I didn't know you could do that. I thought you could only do the one. You want to turn the cans? Okay, she's gonna set up the cans now. Cool. Texas and Dexter from Jack and Dexter. Poggers. Hmm. Where is that last green ring that we're missing? I see a shadow over here, so probably around here somewhere. No, that's a shadow for the the black ball over there. Where is the last one? Ouch. And why are you respawning here? Uh, this is the level I thought it wasn't. You would have to scale the level to the top as implied in the original level of Rainbow Cruise. Okay. What, do, what does Blaze have to say here? Why do you constantly wander off like that when I invite you to Blaze? It's always making me worry to... Oh, she's talking to Maureen. <laughs> the most important thing is that I found you and... The most important thing is that I found you and you're safe. Just please, when you wander off, just let me know in advance. Sorry to get you involved in this mess, cream, but thank you nonetheless. I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> Aww. Oh, Maureen. Oh, I knew she would have... She would... Uh... I knew she would, <laughs> but what's the fun without a little danger? Uh -huh, but, but yeah, I get, I get what she means. Honestly, I'm glad she found me here because I have no idea how to get out of here. Well, Creamy, it's been, uh, it's been f fun to get to know you. I can see why Blaze talks a lot of good things about you. You have fun doing the adventure thing. <laughs> oh, that was cute. All right. Well, let's try then to get to the top of this fucking level then. Oh, there it is. Fucking silly me. Didn't see that. Didn't see that before. 
Ouch. Bonk. There we go. Well, I got the picture. Alright. Now let's see what else we can do. Where's our crossing the rainbow? Alright, okay, I see now. I'm starting to see why people don't like this. <laughs> this is gonna take a fucking while to get to the top. And I guess actually we can skip that, yeah. We don't need that. We can just go directly into here. And... We can just fucking cheese this. In order to get all the way to this fucking ring here. Nice. Marine sounds like the sniper changed my mind. Not all Australians are the sniper. God fucking... <laughs> Fucking TF2 brain rot. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking TF2 brain rot, I swear. <laughs> oh, we don't even need to use the pole to get all the way over here. Cool. Alright, so what's the next step to get all the way over there? Oh, this is gonna be fucking slow. Do not disappear on me. Fuck! No. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I'm gonna have to wait for this shit to respawn again. Yes. Okay. okay, it didn't take long to respawn at the very least, so that's neat. It's still funny though that they decided to give Maureen an Aussie accent for no fucking reason at all. <laughs> I still don't understand why. You merely adopted the brain rot. I was born in it. Molded by it. <laughs> I did not see the brain cells until I was a man. And by then, it was boring. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Alright, where to? Fuck. Just, let's just pick one at random. Let's go here. What is this? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm starting to really understand why people hate this fucking stage. Oh, we could have gotten that ring over there, damn. Okay, so that was the um, the other pathway, getting to that, getting to that ship. Nice. My God, this is taking forever. Oof. Oops. You probably still could get that ring if you really wanted to. I mean, probably, but I kind of want to see where this leads, honestly. It's taken so long that I'd rather just, like, continue on this path right now. Sunk cost fallacy, if you will. Because <laughs> I'm betting there's going to be, like, a ring at the top of this thing. Ah, oh, there it is. There it be. Let's go. Nice. We're only missing four rings to finish this fucking game. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go. We did it. Yeah, this level looks. This level is feeling very tedious. Not gonna lie.
All right, let's try and get that ring from the ship this time around. Is this thing going faster this time? Feels like it. But I'm probably just hallucinating that. Wait a minute, I recognize that voice. Uh, someone said that it was from Street Fighter the other day. I'm not sure if that's correct, but I'm gonna assume that it is. You mean the the voice that whenever we get a ring and we get booted off the level? The one that goes like, oh, ride, you know? Like... No! I, I can only imagine how doing this level without a fucking cheesing those obstacle courses would be. Like, it sounds like it would have been very tedious. No, wait, what? You're not supposed to continue on that path afterwards? Oh my fucking god. My god, we have to do that again? Fuck. No, 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 no. All right, we're almost there. Now just... Now I know that I need to get off this thing. Oh my god. There it is. Here it be. Just think yeah, of it this I'm way. If you mess up as green, you can just fly back as Mario. You got stuck and had to accept death. Yeah, that sounds fucking awful for real. That does actually sound fucking awful. Hmm. Oh, Blaze, hello. Hi. Green, I'm glad to see you. Well, I've gone ahead and taken Marine back to the castle. Looks like this whole thing just worn her out. <laughs> and honestly, I should do the same. The world's in the... The worlds in these paintings can be a bit much all at once. Don't be afraid to take a break either. But whichever you choose will be rooting for you to save your mom. Good luck, Cream. We know you can do it. I love that the game itself is acknowledging that this is a fucking tedious stage. Honestly, I was thinking of getting the 100 rings here, but... Probably not. We're probably gonna, we're gonna skip on that. And maybe instead we should go to the clock world and and get the three missing rings there the three rings that were missing over there all right so what was it like 12 12 stops all time or something like that 12 stops it completely three moves slowly six moves crazy and nine nine goes quickly Time your jump. Stops it completely, moves slowly. I guess we're gonna try and go for three. Our first one. Ah, shit. I went on 12. Roll into the cage. Oh my god, it's fucking Sonic on leash music. <laughs> From the Werehog stages. <laughs> Oh my god. Fitting. Oh my the god, this world is... where a speed run was once supposedly affected by cosmic rays if some theories oh, have to be believed. Right. 
Yeah, I've I've seen the whole the whole fucking videos about that, about how some. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? I saw the videos about how someone just like went through a fucking went through the fucking cages by doing a, a jump. Oh, it's the tiny one that decides on the fucking... on the time, isn't it? Wait, I didn't even notice that Amy was here! What the fuck? Fucking get away from me, Jesus. What is happening, Amy? I feel like the biggest dummy right now. No! Why? The little bunny outside the clock told me everything and now I feel like a stupid moron. <laughs> I feel like a dumb stupid moron. Why? Craven, I'm so sorry for getting you involved in my, in my wild goose chase. When I heard about a blue guy here, I just figured... <laughs> Cream, can you forgive me for making a jerk of myself on this big adventure for you? I understand if, you're, if you aren't willing to. Oh, you don't like seeing your friends upset, so you give her, you give her a big old hug and tell her everything's gonna be okay. Yes, please. I swear, swear when we're back home, I'm gonna, I'm giving you, I'm going to do something special for you. Just you wait and see. But thank you, Cream. And again, I'm sorry. Just give me some time alone to clear, <laughs> to clear out my head. I'll talk to you in a bit. Oh no, no, my wife. She's such a little... Oh, no. My little... My little precious wife. Oh my god, how the fuck do I... How are you supposed to get through this fucking level? Jesus. I feel like this is really not the way to get it oh my god i hate that it brings me all the fucking way back to the start uh, <laughs> this fucking game for real <laughs> fucking game fucking game i hate it <laughs> fucking mario 64 <laughs> the bane of my fucking existence What's it called, Shy? Hello. Welcome. Welcome in. <laughs> Welcome back. I can't remember, but it's probably easier when everything is frozen. I thought 12 was the one that's supposed to be the one that freezes everything. Stop angry cooming and play Banjo-Kazooie. No, I don't want to play Banjo-Kazooie. It looks like fucking shit. Looks even worse than Mario 64, like, not not even visually, like, in the sense of, like, the fucking gameplay that I've seen from those games looks even worse than what you have to do in Mario 64. Is it now gonna be stopped? Oh my god, finally. Jesus Christ. How fucking annoying that you have to like time your fucking jump before you go in. There we go. I know a game you can play that's not bad because we. I swear to fucking god, if you suggest TF2 or F0, I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> Alright. Can't even fucking look up. Fucking camera in this game fucking sucks ass. Alright. We're just missing two rings. Which should make this a lot simpler. You can play the better TF2 Titanfall 2. Oh my god. <laughs> that is actually not a bad idea, to be honest. Titanfall 2 is fucking goaded. Love me some Titanfall. I fucking hate Apex because because of it we're not getting a fucking Titanfall 3. And I will never forgive them. 
I was gonna say Jack and Daxter for Curse of the Legacy. G <laughs> Honestly, Jack and Daxter doesn't look bad. I, I would be down for playing Jack and Daxter sometime. Uh, Ratchet and Clank is another one that I've never played that I would be kind of down to play sometime. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Clark. You've you've earned this reputation for yourself. <laughs> Oh, my wife! Hello! <laughs> hey, Cream, I'm glad you're doing alright. And yeah, I'm feeling much better now. Again, thank you so much. Oh, oh, I love her. I love her so much. Please. You'd be surprised. How, you'd be surprised how much the sound of gears turning and clock sticking kind of helps. That and the blue bunny. Such a good listener. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna chill here for the moment. But I'll be there for you. For your big moment later, okay? Do what you gotta do, you big ol' hero you. Oh, My heart. I cannot see Amy be sad. It breaks my heart. You're officially banned from Mickey Mouse. Look, good. Good. I don't want to be on a fucking club with Mickey Mouse. You. Fucking you. Yeah, we're just gonna fucking cheese this. Lamau. Amazing. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> and we have 70 red star rings. Amazing. The endless stairs are now vanquished. Thank you. Thank, thank to you. Eggman better watch out. Here comes the bun. Now on to the final boat. Yay. I want to go in one last time to see if, if Amy, Amy's dialogue or something changes again. Oh no, I would have needed to come in here on the third one. Hey, Green, I'm glad you're... Okay, no, it doesn't really change. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Good to know. I think that's pretty much it. What you mean the ping is? Oh my god, we're gonna have to deal with the fucking boss battle again. We're gonna have to deal with that shit again. It's gonna suck so bad. But we should be fine now. Yay. Stairs work now, let's go. Why am I pushing this box? Uh, what? What the fuck? What? What fucking? What did I bump into? What the fuck? What's that? Rescue my wife and I'll give you soft tacos. <laughs> so like, regular tacos. That's what you mean, right? When you say soft tacos, you mean just tacos? Like the regular ones? <laughs> Not the fucking fried abomination that Americans do? I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do here. Am I meant to fucking... Go through the other side? What the fuck do I do in here? Charvet, hello! How you doing? Any help? Anyone knows what the fuck I need to do? Oh, those hard shells I always say it aren't even normal tacos. That's good to know. Yeah, that they're, they're, that's not how tacos are. Tacos are supposed to be with like a soft tortilla. 
Like you, you just you just do them with a soft tortilla. Now there are deep fried, I guess you could call them tacos, but like they're different. They're like they're like rolled up completely, not in a U shape. They're like rolled up and they're called uh, flautas. But it's different. It's different. They're not necessarily tacos. Also, Morris, hello. How you doing? I am so fucking confused. What the hell do I need to do? You do the sponge? What? How are we doing today? Honestly, quite frustrated with the game right now. <laughs> Cook for making me hungry with the talk of tasty sounding food. Aren't you supposed to run up? I don't know, it doesn't... What?! Ex excuse you? Just gonna introduce a random fucking game mechanic that's never been introduced at all in the fucking slightest? At the last fucking second? What? What the fuck is this game for real? That's Mario 64 for you. God. I swear people have a fucking cult around this game and a lot of it just fucking sucks. That's Nintendo. Like not even I'm not even necessarily hating on the project Cream 64. I'm just hating on Mario 64. That's Nintendo God. Like, like now it's not even painted yellow. Like now it's not even you know, like fucking. Oh my God. It's not even consistent. <laughs> what the fuck? Remember three? Three bombs? What? What do you mean? Like that I have to throw Bowser at the bombs three times? Oh my fucking god. I hate this fucking game. Oh, now, now they decide that you can't fucking go through this, right? All oh, right, because this is this is the one that actually turns into stairs. All right. Oh, let's just let's just fucking casually introduce a new, completely different game mechanic that shifts the gravity without fucking telling the player about it, Lomel. You grab Bowser by the tail and throw him at bombs. In this game, you grab Eggman by the moustache. Probably, I'd go coma 15 XD. <laughs> that would have been funnier, to be honest, but they essentially just like retexture Bowser as a robot, and that's it. Come on, just fucking let me. It's been like that for all the Bowser stages, but you're creaming it. My god, finally. Ah, Alright, let's go. Let's try to do this and not fucking die trying. Don't think this will be like last time. I'm done messing around. Time to show you the real power of my genius. Robotnik. And your little blue friend is not here to help you this time either. Good. This this game is actually better because Sonic's not here to be honest. <laughs>
<laughs> Just like Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, the game is better by Sonic absence. <laughs> I make final modifications and can withstand four strikes before going down. What? It's just you and me. Get Sonic ready for the final Sonic act. Game must be a good Sonic game. Exactly. It's just, just you and me. Get ready for the final act. If you care about your mummy so much, show me everything you got. Oh, come on. Those horns. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Well, at least he's not doing the, the thing where he tells the stage anymore. That's good. There we go. Throw him up the edge. Apparently you don't throw him up the edge. That just like keeps the fight on going forever. You have to throw him at the bombs specifically. Nice. Oh my god, let's fucking live and learn. <laughs> Come on! No! Fuck. Oh, shit. Wasn't enough. No, what the fuck? Hell yeah. That came out of fucking nowhere. Wait, is, is there a fucking... Ow, oh, rip. Oh my god, the fucking camera, please. There we go. Hello, Jago. How you doing? Oh my fucking god. Oh, come on. Oh no! God, my fucking aim with this shit is so bad. Come on. Come on, totally not Bowser. Please. Cut me some fucking slack. No, come on! That is so fucking... <sighs> that is fucking bullshit. How fast do I have to fucking spin you? Jesus Christ. Stop fucking jumping around and just fucking come after me. Oh my god. He is a hasty boy. Jesus. Ah, couldn't grab him. Is that actually gonna get me all the way over here? Okay, I may maybe I'm too far away for that. No, 
No! Fucking... Oh my god, I hate this. God damn it. Oh, oh no, okay, okay, those disappear. How to spam <laughs> From God, we have to spam AOEs. Oh, fuck! I can never get the fucking angle right. Rain of spiders. Come on, dude. Oh, fucking hell. God, this fucking boss fight, I swear. No, come on. Wait, I did it? No, I fucking died? Oh my god, I fucking... Oh god. On. Oh, now there's fucking rings coming around. Amazing. Now there are fucking rings. I'm going to kill that bastard. Nobody hurts my wife and my daughter. I'm trying to kill the bastard, but holy fucking shit. This fucking throwing mechanic sucks ass. So long, gay Bowser. Okay, never mind. Please, let me fucking stop turning away that quickly! Alright, so I have to bait him into, like, doing his flame attack in order for him to spawn rings somehow? I don't know how I did it in order for- I don't know how I managed to get him to spawn rings like a second ago. Ah, fucking hell. Fuck! Never mind. Okay, that was- that was my fault. Sure. Now he's gonna fucking cheat. Wait, is that Eggman in a Bowser mech? Yes. Badass. It he is. Goes further if you spin him longer. I know, but it's harder to aim if I spin him longer. Oh my god, I actually fucking worked. We did it! I almost fucking died again, but we did it. Let's go. Oh my god, I am so glad First we didn't get try. stuck here. <laughs> First try. I'm so glad we didn't get stuck here like fucking last time. Oh my god. No, I can't believe it. How could I oh, be defeated resume. like that? How could I be defeated like that? Bad, no matter. Don't think this is the end, little rabbit. My bad nicks defeated yet again. My mighty now mechs boarded once more. I can't stand it. Hmm. It's not over yet. I still have some rings. The battle is never truly over. Till next time. Wahaha, <laughs> and, um, happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> I really fucking love the, the whole, like, fucking story so that they're all... So anyone gonna tell Coco she repeatedly used a speed run tactic in this fight? What? Fucking, what are you talking about? <laughs> what speed run tactic? What do you mean? Well... 
Oh, she's so precious. What is happening? I think the camera broke. <laughs> wow, we did it! So your tweet about Dr. Robotnik Ring Razor, and I don't know if it was added later, but there are passwords to unlock online without the tutorial. You I think those were added in a patch. Blank next to the bombs and didn't have to throw him. Ah, yes, pretty much. The only reason Cream is not best Banui is because her mom is hot. <laughs> yes, like, I, I, I try deliberately to just spin him right next to the bomb so I don't have to aim that hard. <laughs> I didn't know that was a speedrun tactic. That seems just like common sense. <laughs> Look, it's her! It's the Banui! It's the Banui princess! She's here! She's alive! <laughs> yes, she's alive! <laughs> Yay! Mom! Now she's gonna bake us cake. Cream! Cream! The rings are restored and everyone is saved. Oh, she's voice acted. Cute. And it's all thanks to you. I'm so proud of you, Cream. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Aww. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, everybody. We have a delicious cake to finish. Yeah, Cream. let's go. Munch. <laughs> it's munchies. Oh, that was cute. That was very cute. Oh. Not gonna lie, the voice acting is kind of like, I mean, kind of meh. But like, I I understand that this is a fan project. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna be like shitting on someone for doing a voice performance, you know. <laughs> Oh, that was all very cute. <laughs> the giant blue chow, let's go. <laughs> there was Jenny, there was Jenny right there in the credits. She apparently did a bunch of programming for this, which was really neat, pretty cool. Cream killed Big King Bomb. <laughs> yeah, King Cream can just fucking annihilate everyone. Everyone she deems unworthy. Apparently there was also an Amy in the desert level and that desert level that I never never saw. So like I missed on that, I guess, but oh well. Cream face model, cream face programmer. Oh, nice. It is very impressive that they did all these like custom models for the game. Like all the all the Sonic characters in the style of Nintendo 64 models. That's pretty cool. Alan, hello. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for joining. We're just finishing Cream 64. <laughs> okay, Tails. You lazy Tail Tails didn't do shit. Tails didn't do nothing. Didn't help at all. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Also, Bay. Bay. Bea. <laughs> I don't even know if it's B or Bea or Bay. <laughs> I think it's B. B. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Alan. Welcome. We finished Cream 64. We were just watching the credits. We finished the game. We did it. So, like, what now? Is it just a black screen forever? It's a normal problem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's kind of like a thing that I keep fucking butchering everyone's name. Hello, what happened to the game? Is it not gonna launch me into a screen or something? 
Yes, you're a chow. You got little chows in the we bottom. We saved the Bunui Mama too. We did save the Bunui Mama. Dark here and nothing more. Yeah, the, the game's like... Hello? Hello, game? You gonna do something? I was just letting the credits roll, and like, now we're stuck in this fucking void of nothingness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It died, yes. <laughs> Se murió a la verga. Yeah, okay, I, I think it's dead. I think it's dead. So, um, what now, guys? What now, guys? What do we do now? What do we do to fill in the times? Buttons don't do anything. Yeah, no. no I'm pressing, I'm pressing the buttons, pressing pause. Time to play Fortnite. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not playing Fortnite right now. <laughs> um, well, let let me let me. Oh my god, that was that was a bit laggy, but here we are again. Hello, everyone. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna have to play something Show else. Show me your moves. We can play something else. We can play a little bit of Sonic Speed Simulator just to pass the time and chat a little bit. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a terrible idea, honestly. So maybe let's do that. Let me just let me just change from Super Mario to fucking Roblox. Let's go. Mm, now. How do I change the fucking title? Hello, Twitch. Sonic Creed Simulator. Knuckles grows the dank kush. Sonic, Sonic Speed Sim. There we go. How do I capture this? Are you drawing the bandicoots? That's nice, Alan. It's nice. Really, really want to really wanna see that later. <laughs> Right, let me just... Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the for the slowness on, on things. I wasn't expecting the game to end just like that. <laughs> I, th I thought it was gonna take us like to the... to the castle, to the castle entrance or something. Mm. So, I guess... We can do this capture. Does that work? Doesn't seem to work with the game capture, so we have to do window capture as well. Alright. So, should be... Oh my god. It's the lag, the lag again, but it should be working now. I haven't been really playing a lot of Sonic Speed Simulator, but like, I, I do enjoy getting this every now and then. Also, like, maybe let's fucking get some music going on. <laughs> Got a magnet boost. Is the game not sounding? I do not hear the fucking game. Oh, it's going through my speakers, that's why. Oh my god, why is it taking so fucking long to load? Holy shit. Please, please, game, please. I'm begging you, fucking begging you to start working. Oh my god. Oh, hello, man. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry I missed it. We finished, we finished the game. And I'm trying to get fucking Roblox Speed Sim to work, but it's like taking forever to load for some fucking reason. Do I need to, like, fucking go down on the graphics or something? Why is it so laggy? Oh my god! It's never like this when I'm playing by myself. <laughs> Being sick sucks. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hope you hope you get better soon. I played Sonic Speed Seal Me later in a long time. Why is Blaze wearing a maid outfit? Why not? Why wouldn't Blaze be wearing a maid outfit? You know? Is there a good reason as to why she shouldn't be wearing one? <laughs> oh my god, this is this is awful. This is running like absolute fucking ass. 
Honestly, maybe we should just fucking chat. Maybe we should just go to like just chatting and that's it. Oh my god. I seriously need to like set up a fucking streaming PC so this is not a problem. Because I, sw I swear it's the, it's the fact that the computer is running the fucking chows in the background and it's running my avatar and it's running alerts and everything in OBS and on top of that the games. <laughs> And it always fucking struggles like this. Holy shit. Yeah, this is this is actually unplayable. I can't even fucking play like this. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't even fucking play like this. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave this. We're just We're just gonna be chatting a little bit, I guess. <laughs> it's, Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I think Roblox also has its own issues now. It doesn't even launch anymore if I try and hasn't for me for a few months. Yeah, the launcher absolutely fucking sucks. Uh, I, I don't know what to do. Chatting. Coca. There we go. Let's just go with the, the simplest fucking title of all time. There we go. Too poor for dedicated RAM. You know what the worst part is? I have 32 gigs of RAM. I have 32 fucking gigs of RAM, and and PCs just run like shit because everything is super unoptimized nowadays. <laughs> Games in particular, 3D applications in particular, run like fucking ass. Mainly because they're not even bottlenecked by RAM. The the RAM is not even the problem. The problem is the, the fucking GPU drivers, which is like. Even, even that, saying that it's the GPU drivers that are the problem is kind of like misleading because that would lead you to believe that the problem is like NVIDIA or AMD, but it's not even them. It's the fucking, the fucking game developers, the fucking studios that are just shitting out unoptimized garbage all the time. Sounds like you need to upgrade to 64 gigs. Now, if, in reality, if I were to upgrade, I would probably need to upgrade my CPU. Because I'm running a Ryzen 5 from like those, the second generation Ryzen's, like uh, 2600X. Which is kind of, it was kind of mid-range at its, and in its own time, like a couple of years ago. It was kind of mid-range in 2018 and it's kind of like showing its age now. But it shouldn't be struggling that fucking bad, that's the thing. Like it shouldn't, it really fucking shouldn't. I don't know enough about programming in order to explain how things are being so fucking unoptimized nowadays. But it really shows that fucking games like Roblox that really shouldn't be struggling to run struggle so fucking much. Minecraft is another good example. That one I do understand why it's like so fucking unoptimized and it's really because like the entire game runs on one core of your CPU. So it doesn't matter if you have a 12 core CPU, the game still runs on just one core and there is no way to split the load. Because fundamentally, Minecraft was just made to be a one-core CPU game. Especially the Java edition. You know, the, the Bedrock edition has been, like, very much optimized to be working with threaded CPUs. But the Java version essentially runs on one fucking core. <laughs> Which fucking sucks. Uh, isn't the world of fucking PC gaming so fun and cool? We're like, we can just have good hardware and we can still struggle to run shit because developers don't like to optimize their fucking code. <laughs> Tilin, how you doing? Welcome. Why are you why are you getting mad, man? <laughs> did I did I say something wrong? <laughs> but anyways, I guess going back to the... No, you're mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I am. I am mad. You're right. <laughs> going back to the topic of Cream 64. Cool, cool, fun experience, to be honest. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. I didn't expect it to be so fucking long, though. Uh, I was expecting it to be like a two-stream ordeal, not a four-stream ordeal. <laughs> but... It was alright, it was fine. Had to throw a uh, meteorite back into space, what did I miss? Oh my god. 
Uh, not much, I was just, just ranting about performance issues on PC hardware nowadays. A good example of poor optimization is Dragon Dogma 2. It says my PC isn't good enough and I still... Uh, and it will have bugs even on lower settings. Oh, rip. <laughs> Need to watch all the VODs? Yeah, you should watch all the VODs. They're there on YouTube. They're on the YouTubes. Uh, there's the, like, on the About section of, of here on my stream, there's a link to the VOD channel. Or at least there should be. I haven't actually checked. <laughs> I haven't actually checked if it's there. Pretty sure it is. <laughs> oh my god, that's... Wow, that's gotta be one of the best fucking pickup lines I've heard in a while, so that was good. <laughs> no, wait, never mind, there's no fucking link for the... I mean, there is, but it's kind of hidden, so... It's one of those, like, little, like, hidden links on the About section. Just, just gonna, just gonna link in there in the chat if anyone wants to, to check out the VOD channel. There's the VOD channel, that's where I upload the fucking VODs for the streams. You wanna check them out? If I was a game dev, I just said game if less than 16 and game equals 60 <laughs> Yes, real. That's, that's true optimization right there. The vids are on YouTube until the channel gets flagged for not being kid friendly, despite clearly not being made for kids, as evident by the bimbo fair. To be fair, I haven't had a single one of my videos be tagged as for kids. Probably because I swear a lot, and YouTube does track, uh, you know, it generates closed captions for your videos. So it essentially knows that I am, I am swearing all over the place in the videos. <laughs> that that's probably why that's probably why i've never been flagged as for kids because <laughs> I, I do have a potty mouth to say youtube is done that way it is it is like <laughs> I, I know what you mean and I, I do get the, i do get problems with youtube every now and then where like they fucking censor uh comments even though I have it set to like not censor comments and to not hold them for review or whatever, to just let anything in, and and it still does it. They still fucking censor the, the the goddamn comments for no reason. They just they just do whatever they fucking feel like it. That's why I stopped streaming on YouTube. I was streaming on YouTube for a while, and the reason I stopped is because half of the fucking chat was getting censored. <laughs> like I wouldn't get to see half of the messages going into the chat. <laughs> So, so people were weirded out by Friendly it. Friendly reminder, there is a specific version of YouTube for kids and they still put us through all their bullshit on the main site. Yeah, it fucking sucks. You know, the, the thing that I fucking hate the most is when you cannot, like... You know, whenever you're trying to get out of a video on YouTube, you have to, like... So we're playing Super Mario Sunshine next Oh night. my god, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 we're not. Uh, I don't know what else we're gonna play next time, to be completely honest. I'm thinking we should actually st get started on playing fucking Elden Ring again. So that we can, like, level up a character and be ready for Shadow of the Earth Tree. Because that's gonna be dropping, like, in a month. I think. It's gonna be dropping in June, I right? Oh, made cool. Nah, nah, probably not. Probably not, probably not. <laughs> So like maybe maybe we go maybe we go with Elden Ring. Oh well, yeah, the, the thing that I really hate the most about like fucking the YouTube app is like whenever you're trying to get out of a video, so you you slide the video down, and then there's this big fucking pop up about like oh this is a video made for kids, you cannot have it to be playing in the background. It's like I know you've told me every single fucking time. Oh my god, this is so annoying. And the fact that you cannot leave comments, like no one can leave comments on YouTube, on videos that YouTube has deemed to be for kids, it's like fucking stupid as well. It's just really bad. Which is why I don't really care about much about the YouTube channel other than for the archival purposes of my streams. Because Twitch doesn't hold vaults forever. Even even being like an affiliate Prime member and whatnot, Twitch is only gonna hold the, the vaults for like two months before deleting them. 
so that's really why that's really why uh, that's really why I have the vault channel and of course the videos that message appears on are never meant for gets real real and true token play era of terror on Roblox well apparently not because apparently when I try to play fucking Roblox it just fucking like crashes and burns I guess <laughs> All videos which I remember reading comments being swapped to kids. They got deleted. Oh, rip. But that does fucking suck. Yay, Bimbo Ring gameplay. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna be playing fucking Elden Ring. I am so excited for the DLC. The only fucking thing in video games that I'm excited for. Because I am, I am so burnt out of the fucking AAA games industry. I fucking hate everything they put out. I, I do not care about anything. Speaking of, you know, Lomao, Hell Divers, people are so mad because now they're being forced to do a fucking PlayStation account, which is like, who could have seen that coming? You you mean to tell me that PlayStation is gonna force users to make a fucking PlayStation account to play the game that they publish? No way. No way. What's your thoughts on Persona 3 Reloaded? I've never played Persona, so I really don't have any opinion about it. <laughs> I don't know, looks like a weird RPG, a, a, a weird JRPG, so like, I don't know. Weird in the sense of like, I don't know, I don't want to be like, how, how do I describe it? Looks like very weeb. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> looks like super weeb, I don't fucking know how else to describe it. <laughs> So I've, I've never really been interested in, in games like that. Weird, weird JRPG. Aren't all JRPGs weird? Yeah, for, and a live fair squad, point. And Alive the Justice League is a prime example of how AAA developers don't give a rat to ass about their customers. God, for real. Aren't all JRPGs weeb, Lomau? Not really. Dark Souls is not a weeb JRPG. I don't think Dark Souls is weeb in the fucking slightest. You know? Dark Souls doesn't have anyone calling you fucking senpai. I'm not, I'm not like too big into anime, I'm gonna be honest. Like, an anime is something that I've only dabbled in like a couple times, but it's not something that I really... Um, I'm not really super interested in it, like for my own enjoyment of it. It's not something that I generally consume, I guess. Honestly, like, like nowadays, I don't even fucking consume anything. I don't, I don't consume fucking media at all. <laughs> I like. I don't usually play many anime games, though. I do own most of the SAG games. I guess the only like fucking weeb JRPG-ish kind of game that I've played is Genshin Impact, and even then, I haven't played that in a couple of months now. See, this is another medium for entertainment. To be honest, yeah, like. Like to be to be fair, I'm just so disconnected from media nowadays. Like I ha I haven't gone to the movies in fucking months. I I like let alone go to the movies. I haven't seen a movie. I haven't seen a movie since the FNAF movie came out. That was the last movie I saw. I don't care about anything else going on. Uh, I haven't watched a show for fucking years. Only one I think is worth playing though is Fatal Bullet since it actually has its own story and lets you create a custom character rather than just playing as Kirito. <laughs> that does sound nice actually, that you're not forced to play as Kirito. The, the last TV show or like serialized show I watched was Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And that was when it was left in its fourth season and there was like this big, hi big hiatus before the fifth season got like renewed and whatnot. That was the last time I actually watched the show. I am like really like incredibly fucking disconnected from media nowadays. I don't care about anything. I don't care about any shows coming out. I don't care about any movies coming out. I really just don't care. <laughs> I've never watched Stranger Things. I've had some friends tell me about it, but like, I don't know. I really just like... I don't know, it sounds so dismissive to just say like, I don't care about it, but I really don't. 
I really don't care. Like, I can't force myself to care about watching these things. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. At the very least with movies, I can tell you what it is. It's that they are so fucking formulaic that I know what's gonna happen like halfway through the movie. Not even halfway through the movie. Just by the fucking premise alone, I under I know what is gonna happen. Because they're so goddamn formulaic. And that that is kind of why I've like stopped watching movies at all. Like I just really don't fucking care. Have you played the Yakuza series? No, not really. Um Again, it's kinda like <laughs> kind of like again another game that has like this weeb tinge around it <laughs> i've never played you like nicholas cage not really i wouldn't say that i like nicholas cage i liked some movies that he's been in but like not necessarily like because of him i like ghost rider and I think that's about it in terms of like Nicolas Cage movies that I can think about. I get it. I haven't really gotten into any shows since I watched Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans and Stargate SG-1 and that was probably around two years ago. Do you like us? I do like you guys. I do like you guys. I do like you. You're, you're fun to talk to. You're fun to chat with. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that you're all, you're all here. Every every single fucking week, just hearing hearing me ramble about shit. <laughs> so I do like you guys. She's lying. <laughs> She's fucking lying. Oh my god. It's true. It's true. I'm lying. I'm lying just so, so I can get you guys' monies. That's all I care about. Five dollars a month. I give you free entertainment. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just... <laughs> Coco would never lie to us. Look at her booba. Real, exactly. You know, just would someone with big boobas like this ever lie to you? I don't think so. I don't think that would happen. <laughs> Close enough. He starred in Color of Outer Space in 2020. It's very spooky and confusing, but Cage is still fun to watch. Cage does love to ham up, you know, do very over-the-top hammy performances, and I can appreciate that. Again, I, I, I really like Ghost Rider because of that. It was very funny. Uh, but I haven't seen many movies with with Nicolas Cage. I remember watching a uh, fucking what's what, God damn it! What's the fucking name of that movie? Uh, the one here where he's an arms dealer. I forget what the name of that movie is, and I saw it like fucking ages ago. I that one I remember liking. I remember liking that one. Uh, there was also one. Where it's like he swaps faces with like someone else. I think that's called Face Off. <laughs> that was another one, another funny movie because he he plays like this very fucking hammy persona. Every time Coco lies, her booba gets smaller. No, no, my booba. Don't make my booba small. No. But yeah, like, the, the last three movies that I've actually sat down and watched were, like, the FNAF movie, the Mario movie, and the Sonic movie, the first Sonic movie. That was, that, that, those are the three movies that I've watched. Oh, wait, I lie. I did see Barbie and Oppenheimer, so, like, add those two as well. What, Coco? <laughs> so, like, really, I haven't been watching a lot of movies as of late. Thelonious, hello. What's up? Not much, not much. Just hanging around. Just hanging a little bit. We finished Super Cream 64. So we're just chatting a little bit. I'm excited for Sonic 3. Friends of mine hosted a screen share of Sonic 2 and it was fun. Honestly, I like I kind of lost interest in Sonic 2 after watching the first movie. <laughs> like 
I don't know how to explain it. Like, I kind of want, I kind of went in to watch Sonic One just to confirm if it was going to be the thing that I was assuming it was going to be, which is an animated mascot movie from an, a fucking retro mascot that is animated in CGI, but like most of the movie is actually not about them. It's actually about the human characters, and and it was that. And I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy it, I enjoyed the first Sonic movie, like, it was fine, but it didn't blow me away. It didn't, it didn't blow me away, it wasn't, like, amazing or anything like that. It was fine. It was okay. So, like, whenever the second movie came out, I, I was like, yeah, okay. I didn't care much about it, because, like, it's gonna be another movie where, like, the main focus of the movie is the fucking humans. Which I don't care about. <laughs> And, and you know what the worst part is? This is not even a new thing. This has been happening for fucking decades. They keep doing this shit. It was annoying when Transformers did it in 2007, and it's annoying today. Like Sam, I don't, I do not give two shits about Sam with Wiki. I want to be, I, I want to see the movie about Optimus Prime and the fucking Transformers. I don't give two shits about Sam with Wiki. Please get him away. And, you know, eventually they did. Eventually they kind of, like, reduced the role of the human cast in those fucking movies. But it was, like, way too late. And it's kind of like, this, 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 like, I just went in and saw the Sonic movie. And it was like, oh my god, this fucking movie is not even about Sonic. It's like, it's not about him. He's not the main character. <laughs> Sonic is literally not the main character of that movie. It fucking sucks. And again, I like, I enjoyed the movie. It was fine. It was a ride. Like, I don't hate it. I don't, I didn't think it was bad. It was like perfectly serviceable, but that was about it. And it's kind of like my same thoughts on the Mario movie. It's like the Mario movie was also like perfectly serviceable, you know, seven out of 10, cool, okay, nice. At the very least, the Mario movie was actually about Mario. When I was a so. kid, I was upset that mm -hmm. the Autobots and Decepticons were basically background characters. Yes. I'm so glad the Transformers one will be on Cybertron, so there will not be any humans. I did see some just uh, using no characters to sell an original story with its own characters is far too common. Exactly, so fucking common. I cannot believe that we've gone 20 fucking years with that trope and we still haven't gotten rid of it, despite audiences constantly explaining how much we fucking hate it. But yes, I did see a couple trailers about like the Transformers one movie. And while I'm not like super into Transformers nowadays, I, I at the very least appreciate the effort of like making a movie that is actually about the fucking Transformers. Definitely what, get what you mean. I'd say 2 is better, but it still has like human character problems. Yeah. I even heard that there's like a big fucking chunk of the movie that is about a wedding. And it's like, fucking what? <laughs> Welcome to... Well, executives are incapable of learning anything. True. Very real. Sonic 2 is definitely more focused than Sonic and Tails. Well, uh, maybe, maybe I, I do, I do gotta give it a watch. I do gotta give it a fucking watch at some point. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm not like super excited about Sonic 3 specifically because I haven't even watched the second movie. So like, I need to, I need to give that a watch at some point. The boring part, yeah, like, it, it sounds so fucking lame, for real. Like, again, it's the fucking Transformers problem, the fucking Sam with Wiki taking 30 fucking minutes of the movie, which is like, Sadly, I don't care about you. Sadly, executives only learn bad things like cancelling movies for tax breaks. God, for real. I, I don't get it, I really do not understand why it's always this, this, this fucking trope. This idea that people are not going to watch a movie entirely animated based on the property. Like, what? Why? Why do you think you need a fucking human character in there? And you know, it doesn't even... It's not even just kids' movies. The fucking Warcraft movie had this problem. The fucking Warcraft movie had this problem as well. Where, like, half of the fucking story was actually just focused on, like, uh, the... The, the fucking... The human characters, Cathgar and like uh, Medivh and whatnot, and they were the weakest fucking part of the movie. Like at the very least, I cannot complain there that the human characters were like just made up because they are actual characters in the lore of Warcraft, and they do play an important part in that story. But like they were the weakest fucking part of that movie. I was so fucking like 
I, I was so compelled and so entertained by Durotan and fucking Orgrim Doomhammer having like, you know, conversations and interactions in that movie, but it was so you fucking short lived. Executives can't relate to anyone that isn't like them, so they assume everyone else is the same. God, I know. It really sucks. It really sucks. At the very least, you know, like I can I can sit here and criticize the Mario movie for being a pretty fucking bland movie, to be honest. But I will give them that they made a fucking Mario movie about Mario and they didn't have like Mario in the real world or some fucking sh shit like that, you know? Like, I appreciate that. I can at the very least appreciate that. So, I, I just wish they would have gone that route with the Sonic movie, you know? I just wish, but, you know, we can, we can never get good things. We can never have good things in this fucking world. <laughs> Uh, because they had Miyamoto bring down their next. Yeah, that's it. Like that's that's exactly it. Like I don't I don't understand why Sega was not breathing down the necks of fucking Paramount or whatever. Like I don't know. First of all, why did Sega not decide to go for a fucking animation studio instead of a you know general movie studio? First of all, like first mistake. And second of all, why was why weren't they like fucking breathing down their necks? Like I don't know. Like. <laughs> I don't fucking know. You know, the FNAF movie, funnily enough, the FNAF movie actually, like, does introduce human characters and whatnot that weren't necessarily present in the games. Or that, or they kind of, like, switched around some of their placements. So, for example, now Vanessa is, like, the daughter of William Afton, you know, in the, in the fucking movies. And it's like, all right, all right, I can, I can vibe with that. I can vibe with those changes. But, like, the movie is actually about the fucking animatronics, for the most part. The movie is actually very close to what you fucking see in the games. I don't know. I really like the FNAF movie. I mean, Sorry. Sega doesn't exactly have a good track record for keep the people working on media for them in line. Yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> it, it's so silly because for, for, the, for the people working on the IDW comics, Sega is like super fucking tough on their, on their goddamn mandates. And they keep on doing the fucking like, you know, oh, you you can't have romantic relationships, you can't have this, you can't have that, and it's constantly fucking breathing down the necks of people at the IDW. But for some fucking reason, when it comes to a movie, they're like, yeah, you just fucking do whatever you want, I guess. I don't know, you want to introduce a fucking human character that's gonna be with Sonic, and like, you want to make Sonic an alien now? It's like, sure, why not? Fucking go ahead, whatever. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> like, oh my god. I don't know. I don't get it. It's very inconsistent. But then again, like, that's Sega. That's the Sega they experience. They did the same back with Archie. I mean, kind of, but not really. It's, it's like, funnily enough, it's like the 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 fact that they are so fucking, you know, oppressive, I guess. I don't know what the word would be. The fact that they're breathing down IDW's neck is because they weren't like that with the Archie comics because they had the fucking problem with Ken Penders for not doing that. <laughs> That's why you had so many fucking wild stories as well on the fucking Archie comics. Like even the, the authors themselves have essentially like gone out on record saying like, yeah, they, they just fucking let us do whatever we wanted. They didn't actually fucking care. Which is very interesting, very interesting in comparison to what Sega they does nowadays. They remember what happened with Archie and yet they are repeating it with Paramount. Yeah, pretty much. It's really, it's really fucking stupid. I don't know. I guess it, it comes down to... If I had to guess, if I had to guess, the problem really is that they're looking at the movie not as, a, as an alternate piece of media for the franchise, but more as a tie-in product. Like, they're looking at the movie in the same way that they would look at a fucking, like, Lego set. Or a fucking toy, you know? So, it doesn't matter if it's not, like, 100% accurate to the source material or whatever, because it's just, like, an alternate, like, an alternate product that is just there as an entryway for people to get into the franchise. So, like, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. That they're not looking at the movie as an extension of the franchise, more so just as a fucking, like, as its own thing, as its own product. One the note of Lego, what the hell are they doing with those Sonic sets? 
<laughs> I know, it's so, it's so fucking weird. For what it's worth, it seems to be working. Yeah, at least, least, like, eh, I, I guess I cannot complain too much because, yeah, it is working. Like, it is bringing people into the, the franchise. Even people in Japan like the Sonic movies. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, you can't argue with the method if the method is working, right? <laughs> I think the main problem that they're gonna face is that people are gonna watch, people watch the movies, people like the movies, and then they go and play the games, and they have absolutely fucking nothing to do with the movies. So like, <laughs> you know, it's like, are you really gaining people that are interested in the franchise, or are you really just gaining people that are that are interested in the movies? You know. Why does Tail ha Tails have a boat? Why does Knuckles have a mech? What are the people in charge doing? <laughs> They're just fucking doing whatever because it's a toy. Because it doesn't matter. There's no consistency. It's just a toy. And that's that's I uh, I think that's the the approach that they're having with the movies. Next Sonic game is a reboot in the movie content video. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> We're gonna have Sonic the Hedgehog the video game based on Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. You know, like remember, like when we had Battleship the video game based on a movie based on a board game. <laughs> remember when we had that? It's gonna be just like that. It's gonna be just like that. We're gonna have Sonic the Hedgehog based on Sonic the movie based on the games. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna come full fucking circle. It's gonna be great. And honestly, if they wanna go that route, I wouldn't even be mad. I wouldn't even be mad about it. You play as Donut Lord half of the fucking game. <laughs> Oh, are so real, so fucking real, so real. But why a boat? Tails should have a plane. It's not like that hard to figure out what vehicle to handle. Like I said for Tails, they don't care. They don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the people doing the sets don't fucking care, and Sega doesn't care either. Apparently, it's fine. Like as long as the characters are on model. And like they're easily recognizable as Sonic characters, they can do whatever the fuck they want. It's fine. Honestly, I'm just I'm still salty that Sonic Boom went the way it did. Because I feel like having that second like spin-off material for Sonic would have been like so good, you know? There, I feel like there is a parallel universe out there. Where Sonic Boom, you know, Rise of Lyric, wasn't a fucking failure because it wasn't tied to the Wii U. <laughs> and that led to the cartoon continuing to get seasons. And that is like the spin-off media that gets more people into the franchise, not the movies. Or maybe at some point, you know, given like the, the fucking continued success of of the fucking of the fucking animated show. Then they make an animated movie, you know? It kind of makes sense to go in that direction. I don't know. I honestly don't know at this point. I don't know, Cartoon Network <laughs> seemed set on killing them. I don't know why. I really never understood why they wanted to kill that fucking cartoon so badly. They gave it the worst fucking airing times. Thanks to Generation, Sonic now has a multiverse. Yeah. Like, thanks to Generations and apparently Forces as well, because remember, Forces retconned classic Sonic to be a, an alternate fucking dimension or something. Cartoon Network hates good cartoons. I mean, true. That is true. You know, as long as it's, as long as it's not Teen Titans Go, it doesn't get prime time, you know? It's kind of like Nickelodeon with Spongebob, you know, it's like, it's the one cartoon, the one fucking cartoon that's allowed to exist in the fucking channel. And so Cartoon Network has Teen Titans Go to fill in that role. Of course, this is the direct continuation of Generations and Mania. Yeah, I know, I know. But like... The, the, the thing is, it forces essentially retconned both by establishing it as not different timelines, but like different dimensions. Forces is the one that made that. 
Can we just forget before this has happened? God, I wish. I wish we could. <laughs> I wish we could forget about it. <laughs> oh, God. Can we just get Sonic Dream Team 2? Can we just get more Sonic Dream Team and have it be on, on PC and consoles, please? Like, just get Sonic Dream Team on consoles and, and fucking PC and Android phones and then make Sonic Dream Team 2. And just and just keep making that. That's that's the only good fucking Sonic game <laughs> that's come out in fucking years. Sonic 06 is better than Forces. Uh, I mean, it's debatable. It's like, in which aspect are we talking? You know, because Sonic 06, like, as much as I do love Sonic 06 and I have a soft spot for Sonic 06, it was pretty fucking broken. It was pretty broken. Now, if, we're, if we are comparing it, yeah, was, okay, yeah, okay. I was gonna say if we're comparing it story-wise. Yes, absolutely. Sonic 06 absolutely trashes Sonic Forces. Forces has good gameplay. Ooh, oh, debatable, <laughs> debatable. Because <laughs> like, classic Sonic handles like fucking ass in Forces. Uh, modern Sonic is literally just press X to win and the fucking stages are like 30 seconds long and, and the avatar honestly the avatar stages are probably the best part of sonic forces funnily enough you know if that was the entire game if the avatar stages were the entire game i i think i would be looking at forces in a in a more positive light Sega was cooking with oil when they made Sonic Unleashed. Yeah, Sonic Unleashed, fucking really good. I've been actually having fun replaying it now. I've been I've been emulating it. Uh, I didn't fucking like. Holy shit! Like, it's one of those things. Like, I never actually owned Sonic Unleashed. I only played Sonic Unleashed at my cousin's house whenever, like, you know, the Xbox 360 was around in 2008 around that. So I never actually fully played the game. I just played a couple stages when I was in his house. Uh, I did not remember how fucking long the Werehog stages were. Like, holy fucking shit. They can, go on, they can go on for like fucking 40 minutes. It's insane how long they are. Holy fuck. They're, st they're still very enjoyable. But like, goddamn, they're fucking long. I've never played the HD version of Unleash. Oh, you've only played the the Wii version of Unleash. <laughs> I've I've heard that it's actually good, to be honest. I've heard that it's really not that bad. People make a big, big fucking deal about it, and it's like not really that bad. They are big stages. Not not only like not I only like the speed stages. But I only like the speed stages. Oh, no, I do. I do like the Werehog stages. They just overstay their welcome a little bit. They're just a little bit too long. But other than that, I really enjoy the gameplay of them. The other Werehog stage for Eggman Land was so long. Like, they're all so fucking long. I, I imagine the fucking Eggman Land is going to be like two hours. I've never actually played it myself. <laughs> But if people complain, like, I, I know that people complain that it's too fucking long, but if the regular Werehog stages are like two, are like 40 fucking minutes, then I just don't want to know. I don't want to know how fucking long Eggman Lance is going to be. <laughs> I think Sega's still mad about the review scores for Unleash and want to pretend it never happened. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, Unleash was really good. It's a, it's a shame. It's a shame that... The, that it was so poorly received at launch. It's good that people have, like, you know, reconsidered their stance on Sonic Unleashed. It's good that people now consider it an actually good game that got, like, poorly reviewed. But, yeah, like, I, ju I just wish Sega wouldn't, like, keep it just locked to the fucking consoles. So I think the only real way to play it... Uh, is is to play it through uh, on an Xbox Series X now, so you can play it as la at like 60 fr frames per second. And even then, I think it's still locked at 720p. So, who knows? Uh, fuck you, I. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, fuck IGN for a multitude of reasons, including including their constant bashing of Sonic. But yeah. Then again, Sega is also like to blame. Sega is also to blame. They keep releasing fucking mediocre shit ass games when like the obvious winning formulas are right there for them to to use and they just refuse to use them you know like i'm gonna be honest i'm not a huge fan of sonic mania because i'm generally not a huge fan of the classic games but i am still baffled that they haven't made a fucking sequel to sonic mania and no sonic superstars do not does not count that doesn't fucking count. That's not a sequel to Sonic Mania. Fucking shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean when I say a sequel to Sonic Mania. <laughs> I believe the reason uh, Sega hasn't released so Unleashed on Steam is due to the licensing issues with endless possibility. It's funny because, like, one, we can only speculate that there are licensing issues. They've never outright said that there's any licensing issues. Uh, but but yeah, it's, the, it's a likely possibility that there, there are licensing issues. Uh, but I don't even think that's the problem, because they literally did the, that with Sonic Origins. Sonic Origins had the licensing issues for the fucking Sonic 3 and Knuckles soundtrack, and they just replaced those songs. And they clearly still have the rights to the song to perform it with different artists, so they can just re-record it with a different artist, like they did with uh, who's it? Uh, what's the name? Nathan, Nathan Pierce? No, what's his what's his fucking name? Uh, God damn it! Where is it? It's here in my fucking playlist. Nathan Sharp. Nathan Sharp. Uh, so, like, they, they could just release the fucking version that they re-recorded with Nathan Sharp as part of the game instead of, like, the original, and that would be it. So, like, I really don't understand. I really don't understand why, like, that... I don't believe that that's the thing keeping them from re-releasing Unleashed. I don't believe that it's the one song keeping them from doing so. There were talks but didn't go anywhere. Oh, you mean for Sonic Mania? Yeah, I've heard. I heard about it. But it's still, it's like, it's still stupid. It's still very stupid that it never happened. Like, why? How? How did it not happen? What was Sega asking for that, like, fucking Whitehead Studios didn't want to do, you know? Like, what's it called? I, I, it's not Whitehead Studios. It's like, what the fuck it's called? Head Cannon? I think it's called. God, I fucking I, I am so bad with names. I'm so bad with the name of things. Evening Star? Oh, okay. <laughs> still, still, it's baffling. It's baffling that they didn't actually like try to make it. Head Cannon is Simon Thornley Studio. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I get I get confused with so many fucking names of so many studios working on. Fucking Sonic projects all over the place. <laughs> they ignore the successful games and choose the worst ones. Yeah, for real. And you know what the worst part is? Even when they have a bad game, like the bad games still have salvageable, uh, salvageable ideas or salvageable concepts that they just refuse to build upon because they just they they just like fucking throw out the entire thing like oh this was a failure then it, all the things about it were a failure so we're never gonna touch any of these concepts ever fucking again because like we're, we just deem the entire thing a failure not realizing that there are good things about the bad product you know for example sonic lost world one of my least fucking favorite sonic games this is one of the fucking games that i really don't like really fucking hate sonic lost world but at the very least the parkour was interesting that was an interesting idea that's an, in an idea that could have been built upon but no no we just decided sonic lost world was a failure so we're never gonna touch that ever again we're never gonna reconsider the idea that we want to have colorful stylized levels no, let's go with, let's go with ultra realistic fucking mountain scans. That's the direction that we're gonna take Sonic in. Fucking goddammit. <laughs> uh, I, I I do I do love fucking ranting about Sega for real. 
I enjoy it a little bit too much. Hmm. At one point, I hope to see Sonic Unleash, uh, Sonic, uh, my Sonic Unleash adapted into film or animation. Now I know it would be a terrible idea because they find a way to fuck it up. God, for real. One of those things where, like, they got Marta Studios to make that fucking anim that beautiful animation, and and then they never did it again for some reason. They decided, no, nope, you know what? We're never gonna have good fucking CGI cutscenes ever again. We're just gonna have our fucking terrible rigs just standing there and doing nothing and talking, and we're never gonna have an action scene in a fucking cutscene ever again. Because it's, it's good rant. It's a good rant. Imagine Sega remake old Sonic games like Shadow the Hedgehog. You know, there's there's all of these rumors going around about like how Sega is considering a Sonic Heroes remake, and I do not trust them at all with that. For real. Like, I wish they would do it, and I wish they would get a, a, a studio to actually make it properly and give them enough time to do it, but given fucking Sega's track record, I do not believe that's gonna happen. If they get another studio, it's gonna be a rushed fucking shit job like they did with fucking Sonic Colors. If they if they get Sonic Team to do it, it's gonna be terrible, because so fucking Sonic Team apparently doesn't even know how to make a game at this point. <laughs> like, there, there's no way, there's no way in which this ends up as a good thing. They're gonna fuck it up. <laughs> Even Sonic Generations, the Sonic and Shadow Generations that's gonna come out, it's like... It, they're gonna fuck it up. They're, you know they're gonna fuck it up. They're gonna do something that fucks the entire concept up. Like, they're, they're gonna make the game... Either the game is gonna come out fucking rushed and unfinished. Which is like, gonna be mind-blowing because you already have Sonic Generations running on PC. So like, I don't know how the fuck you can like ruin it, but they're gonna find a way. And they're gonna add like some fucking dumbass anti-cheat like the Nubo again to fucking destroy the performance of the game on PC. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be so funny. It's gonna be so funny when it comes out and it's fucking shit. And I'm gonna be sitting there telling everyone I fucking told you so. But anyways. I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. We've gone we've, <laughs> we've gone way past overtime now. Uh they're the best in in they're the best in the by the worst. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I kind of get what you mean. Like, I kind of get what you mean. They're, they're the best at being the worst, for real. They are the best at being the worst. Uh, but anyways, gotta call it for the night. So, hope you all had a good time. Hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> hope you all had a good old a good old Friday night with me. Thank you for joining me. It was a fun ride. It was a fun ride finishing Cream, Cream 64. And yeah, probably we're gonna go with the Elden Ring next time, just for the funsies, just for like leveling characters or something. I don't know, or maybe I'm just gonna like... I'm still debating on whether or not I should just like level my own character on my night, free time. Coco. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs> good night, Coco. I'm glad I finally have time to watch the streams. No, oh, thank this. you. Until next time, see Thank you Tuesday. You. Thank you, everyone. Finishing cream? Yes, finishing cream. We finish. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much for joining me. Have a good night, everyone. I, I will think about whether or not I do want to stream like the Elden Ring thing, or if we just gonna be playing other Sonic games, because there are plenty of Sonic games that we I have played. So like, so, like, maybe we can, like, work on those. You know, there is Sonic Unleashed for Wii. We can play that. <laughs> Anyways, have a good night, everyone. See you around. Have a good weekend. Take care of yourselves. Love you all. Mwah. <laughs> mm, love you all. Mwah. Have a good night, everyone. See you around. Bye. You're going to finish your extra creamy whipped cream and you're going to fucking like it. <laughs>